what we want to do today is have a deep dive on Liquitex. What I'm going to do is spend the first couple of minutes uh, demonstrating a basic use case. We're going to start with a simple use case, similar to what you guys have already probably seen with our little stem cell demo. And then we're going to do a deep dive uh, talking about each of the major parts of the, the product, talking about project creation, the file picker, uh, the editor, document sidebar, inking, workspace, search, text links, sending content, some power user tools, and a sneak preview of some of the AI stuff, which is going to be coming soon. Now, here we are. Okay, now for the overview demo, ultimately we'd like to have a, a demo for this that's a little more suited to the workflows that uh, you all uh, are involved with. But for the purposes of this, we're gonna take something that's a little bit adjacent to it, a uh, litigation demo, uh, just to kind of walk you through a very high level overview of, uh, of the product in a story. So for the purposes of this story, let's say you're uh, a litigator, you have a client who had a novel procedure done to relieve her hip arthritis, but unfortunately it didn't work. Instead of relieving her arthritis, it just left her with inflammation. And uh, she blames the surgeon, and the surgeon says she wasn't a good candidate for the procedure, but he warned her of this. So we're trying to figure out what's going on. So in this is the Liquitext uh, editor screen. Over here on the left, we have all the documents that we need for this project. I've already loaded them and organized them into folders, as you see here. In the middle, we have the reading pane. This is where I can look at the one or more documents I'm working with right now. And over on the right, we have the workspace. This is the notes area where you can start to build your argument or, uh, or your process. So the first question we have is, was our client even a good candidate for this procedure? To find out, I'll start by making a text box here and we'll say, was our client a good candidate? And we'll just go select that, tag that red, and maybe make this a little wider. Now, one thing I'll note, I'll note right at the beginning is uh, I happen to be doing this demo on my iPad because I know a lot of you folks are using uh, iPads and are comfortable with them. Uh, you can also, of course, do this on Windows and you can do this. I know that EPO doesn't use Mac, but this also works on Mac as well. So the first question, was our client a good candidate? To find out, I'll go to my documents list over on the left here and we'll go down to this paper by a medical agency. And what do I see here? I see that it mentions that most adults are good candidates for this type of procedure. Well, that's pretty important. So I'm going to select that and I'm just going to pull that out into my workspace like this and connect it. And so, see the first thing I'm doing, I can start to mix bits of my own thoughts with the title heading and bits of or the original documents. Now, of course, you see this little white arrow here. What is that white arrow for? Wherever I am, I can touch that white arrow, of course, and go right back to the source of this excerpt. That means that I'm never more than one tap away from the context for my notes. Okay, now I'd like to compare this text over here with a diagram a couple of pages down, but that's normally tricky. With liquid text though, I can just squeeze my document like this, you see. I can crunch it together like it's made of rubber to bring the text and the diagram side by side so I can compare them easily. Okay, it looks like this diagram actually will help us. So I'm gonna take this and pull this out as well into my workspace and attach it to my other notes. So you see, now I'm starting to mix different bits of information, text, images from different pages, my own thoughts, to form the sort of backbone of my argument here in the workspace. Okay, now we'll just uncollapse that. So now the question is, was our client actually a good candidate? To find out, I'll go back to the documents list here, go down to her patient medical record. And you see Arlene McCaffrey's medical record here. And we see that she has a few pre-existing conditions. She has diabetes, hypertension, and arthritis. Well, if we go over to the workspace now and we zoom in on that diagram we made her a, a moment ago, we see that, let's see, she's under 65. She's not immune compromised. She has no history of carcinomas as far as high blood pressure is concerned. She does have it. So she's actually in the closely monitor category. Okay, so I definitely want to make a note about that. Add a little text box here and say she is in closely monitor category. All right, that's, that's very helpful. But the problem is I need to do more than just note the fact that she's in closely monitor. I need to be able to justify it because I know opposing counsel is gonna argue that she was not in closely monitor. So how do I do this? Well, the easiest way to do this uh, in liquid text is I can actually draw a line between my document and my note. So I'm gonna take my pen here and draw a line from the point about arthritis, which is really critical, 
over here into the note. And you see what liquid text does. It creates a live inkling, a living line between my notes and my document. So wherever I am, even if I'm, for example, in say an entirely different document, I can always tap this button and get right back to the source. So what this means is I can do more than just discover connections in liquid text. I can capture connections between anything. Okay, so this is good. We have a pretty good case now that our client was a good candidate for the procedure, or at least uh, at least a reasonably good candidate for the procedure. So now the question is, why did the procedure fail? So we'll go over here to some notes I've taken on how the surgeon performed the procedure, and we'll go back to our documents list. We'll go to say, the, let's go to the surgeon's deposition transcript and see if he made any obvious mistakes. So you see, I've already gone through earlier and I've highlighted and tagged the text of what the surgeon did, but I'd like to get an overview of it. Well, to get an overview can be tricky in a document, but with liquid text, I can turn on highlight view and simply pinch the document together. And you see it brings all of the highlights and tag text together with as much or as little context as I need. I wanna learn a little bit more about this purple one here. I think it might be helpful. So I'll squeeze a part around it, not really, squeeze back together and bring, bring the overview back, uh, back again. When I'm done, I'll just tap the highlight view button again. Well, unfortunately, uh, I don't see any obvious signs in here of the surgeon having made a mistake. So, um, and I, I've looked over the, doc, the, uh, uh, the key steps the surgeon took over on the left in my notes, and I still don't see any obvious signs of a mistake. So maybe there's something in the nurse's deposition transcript. So let's take her deposition transcript and we'll pull that out as well here and bring it up side by side with what the surgeon did. And now let's look through these and see if we can see if we can find anything that might give us some clue about what happened with the procedure. Well, as I look through it at first, I don't really see anything too helpful, but now, now I do see something useful. I see that the surgeon describes a key part of the procedure taking 10 minutes, while the nurse describes the key part of the procedure taking 15 minutes. Ah, that's a pretty significant discrepancy there. I really wanna be able to capture that connection. I wanna be able to capture that discrepancy. So I can, again, just as I drew a line between my document and my notes, I can draw a line between two documents like this to capture this discrepancy. What this means is that later on, say, if I'm in court and I said the procedure took 10 minutes and, uh, the, uh, and the nurse disagreed with that, uh, opposing counsel doesn't agree, how do I find out? How do I argue against them? I simply click the button, get instantly right back to where the nurse disagreed and said it was 15 minutes. So it makes it very easy to capture the relationships and connections and especially the disparities that I may discover. Okay, so now I also wanna capture this conflict in general. So I can again, just select the text up here, go to select more, select the nurse's discussion of the same issue and go to comment and say conflict over the timing. And I'll just take this and pull this off into the workspace. Now, what this means is whatever documents I'm in, wherever I am, I can always just click the arrow here and get right back to both documents and see both of the pieces of information involved in this conflict. So again, it makes it very easy to capture the connections and discrepancies that I may find. Okay, so this is pretty good. I think we, we have a pretty good argument that something, something bad went on during this procedure. The surgeon uh, made some sort of mistake uh, in terms of the timing, but we still need to find out, would a timing mistake have caused the procedure to fail? At this point, that's just my speculation. So we'll go back to our documents list here. And let's go to say uh, the regulatory bodies folder. And we'll go to the phase three clinical trials for this procedure. Let's see if anyone in the clinical trials had a similar failure mode to our client. Maybe that'll give us some clue about this. So our client, if you recall, had inflammation. So I'm gonna just start typing I-N-F-L-A-M-M-A-T-I-O-N. And as I type, Liquid Text brings up a context sensitive uh, dialog box with different options for what I can do with what I'm typing. In this case, we want to search, so I can simply press return, and it does a search. In this case, it found five results. I'd like to see an overview of these results. So just as I was able to earlier with the highlights, I can just pinch the text, and you see all of the highlights, I'm sorry, all of the search results come together, again, with as much or as little context as I need. Well, this one looks like it might be promising. Let's, uh, let's squeeze apart here. No, that one's not going to help me. 
what about this one? This looks like it might be promising as well. Let's squeeze apart here. Ah, uh, this one is helpful. It says that there actually was someone in the clinical trials who had a failure of the treatment coinciding with uh, inflammation because the surgeon messed up the timing. So let's take this, pull this out, attach it, and also highlight this red so we can find it easily later. Okay, I think we have a pretty solid case now that the surgeon must have messed up the timing and that led to the failure of the procedure. There's even uh, previous precedent for it in the clinical trials. So now we need to send this off to the court and the court doesn't necessarily want my liquid text mind map here. So I can go to the send button and go to notes outline. And you see liquid text will take all of my notes and highlights and combine them into a nice linear document that I can send to Microsoft Word with one click. And there I can, I can revise it and edit it into the final form that I need to send to the court. Okay, so let me pause here. This was the high level overview. 